for. Hi there, my name is Brian Vogelsang with uh, Qualcomm, and I'm going to show you QuickDraw, which is a collaborative drawing application that uses all join peer to peer for uh, proximal connectivity. Cool, so we've got, we've got three devices here. Yeah, we have a, a tablet and then a couple of smartphones. And what we're going to demonstrate is the ability to collaboratively build a drawing using QuickDraw. And so these application, this application is enabled with all joined peer-to-peer. -peer, and as you can see here, the devices have and the applications have discovered each other. So we have um, the flyer here has discovered the BiTouch and the Xperia. Um, this Xperia has discovered the flyer and the... Um, uh, the flyers, it, this one has discovered the uh, flyer and the My Touch. So I'm just going to demonstrate really quickly how, um, how all join can be used to uh, send notifications back and forth between the apps. I'm going to exit out of this version of the application, and you can see that the, um, that application has disappeared, this device has disappeared from the radar on these other two. That just shows the discovery elements of, of all join being used to, um, be, being used to uh, sync the applications together. I'm going to start it back up. And now you can see those applications have been have discovered this device again, and they're all in sync. In, in sync. And so all joins being used to pass the messages back and forth, proximally peer to peer over Wi-Fi. There's nothing going through the cloud to keep these applications in sync. So yeah, the network's not involved at all. So we could actually do this on a plane, or like at Burning Man, or <laughs> anyway, right? right? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's um, it's using Wi-Fi as an underlying bearer, but all joins the connectivity engine that's keeping these um, these in sync. So I'm going to show you a, a quick, do a quick collaborative drawing. So we're going to start on the tablet over here. It says draw the head and the neck above the red line. So I'm a really poor artist, but I'm going to draw some hair. I'm going to draw a nose. I'm going to draw a neck down to the red line here. You'll see what the red line is for in just a second. So now I'm going to, I'm going to flick this application uh, to another device. Before I do that, I have to name it. I'll just give it my initials, BV. And it says, where do you want to flick it? I'm going to flick it to the My Touch. Select that and say flick it. So now you can see it instantly over here using All Join. It, it sent a notification over to this device saying, um, saying do you want to uh, accept that, that drawing? So now you can see the top of the drawing that I started on this device. It's now asking me to, put, to draw the sort of body, the upper body, the torso. So I'm going to draw that real quick. Give it some arms, maybe a V-neck, and a, uh, some buttons here draw it all the way down to the bottom line, and I'm going to send it now over the Xperia. Notice how fast and seamless the discovery is um, between the different devices. I mean, as soon as he hits pass it on to the next phone, yeah. um, it just immediately, with no latency, gets discovered by, by that other device. And that's all done without going to a server, completely peer-to-peer -peer, uh, through, through Wi-Fi. It's very neat. And now I'm just going to draw nice. the, uh, the lower body, the legs here. And I'm going to send it back to the flyer to finish the drawing. And how long did it take for this app developer to, um, to create this app? Um, well, this app was built in a couple months, but the, the all join elements were done just in a matter of a week or so. So integrating peer-to-peer -peer is, is not the challenging part of this. All join makes it really easy to, to do peer-to-peer -peer networking. What well, we've been hearing from developers who have built uh, some really interesting games um, is they've been able to add peer-to-peer -peer in a week or less. And these are folks who m normally would possibly spend a half a year to a year to solve the difficulty in pairing and discovery mm -hmm. and security. They now are able to just pull in the SDK, add it to their application, and within a week they have discovery, they have sharing, they have all these um, difficult things that usually need to be a protocol expert to solve for. Amazing. Okay, so the last step is to draw the feet, and then we're done. So I'm going to put the feet together here. And there's the drawing, and you see these devices receive notifications that the drawing is finished. So I can accept yeah. that. And you can see that the drawing has been uh, exchanged across the devices. So it's a pretty cool, fun little game to collaborate and drawing with people. Good team building stuff I could see in the future for <laughs> this one. It'd be quite fun. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to show us that. I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely going to be a very interesting application to see what the developers decide to do in the future.